You wanted it, and today you will get it. Brazil. And you know what? You chose the one path I haven't played at all yet. But I'm all in for that, and I'm even gonna embrace it. So today, I will attempt the world conquest with a path I've never played before. So today, Brazil is coming to you. Iron Man, historical, and go. So, Brazil, we have a few difficulties that we have to fix, and little research lots, and also not the biggest industry. But what we do have is a lot of potential. Unironically, Brazil has so much potential. But before we can do anything, we have to get rid of these bandits over here and also repair our nation a bit. Because some states have the neglected state modifier and that is kind of horrendous, especially for building industry. So for the beginning, you have to be very careful where you build because a lot of states have these modifiers. So I'm going to build full infrastructure in the states that don't have the modifier. And yes, there's only four states. No, actually, it's five. This one doesn't have it either. But this one has Bandits. I'm gonna put all my mills into guns. And we're also gonna build a few convoys. Research-wise, we're gonna be super boring. Engineering and production. And focus tree wise I will take the time today to explain the focuses I do a little bit more in detail. Because this video either releases when the DLC just released or even before. So this might be still very new to you. So we'll take time to explain the focuses. Not just for you, but also for me. As I said, I've never played this part of the focus tree yet. And you wanted me to play it so we gotta learn together what i do want to highlight in the beginning is over here we can unlock the decision to get rid of the bandits but i'm not sure if i want to prioritize that yet because we need a lot of command power to do that and we don't really have a lot so even if we get it now we will probably not be able to do anything with it so what i'm gonna start with is go on our political path modify state of emergency to remove the annoying ideologies get a bit of stability and political power ah yes fun first focus is done turning this modifier into our favor. So I would say let's do this one next. Allowing us to boost the support we want and get daily ticking support for it. And best of all, 35 day focus. And ironically, a lot of 35 day focuses in this DLC. Personally, I like that very much. Oh, by the way, I should also highlight I, I got early access. This build might be a bit experimental. It's not the final build I play yet. And because we can afford him, I'm gonna get myself the political fox for extra political power and cheap advisor cost in the future. He's like double good so let's take him focus is done we can't do this yet but we did unlock decisions so i'm gonna check that out in a second until then let's try to get down here now aftermath of the coffee crisis improving our bad economy spirit by a little bit and giving us a coffee company as an industrial concern pork takes huge sip of coffee <sighs> And yeah, here we go. We can spend 20 political power and we get between 1 to 5 support. I would say, let's do it. 1 support. Yeah, good start. Just as a reminder, we need 50%. That's actually a lot. But hey, we got 3%. That's a win, right? Coffee crisis is done. So let's get the radio. Actually, a good spirit and it researches us the radio. Very good focus. All I complained, 70 day focus. But let's do it. At the same time, we got a rally. 3%. Very sad. I'm really not lucky with those. I got like twice 1% and twice 3%. I never got 5%. Give it to me now. Sometimes you just have to complain in life. Oh, that was so good timing. By the way, I take it back. We are nearly there. 41%. I thought this would take way longer, but no. And we got the radio and the research of the radio. Let's deal with the bandits. So we've done all the rallies. Bring us to 84% support. So we are literally basically there. This focus is done. And I guess I could do this one, but this would give me more unaligned support and it would kind of against me. I think I'm not going to do that. But what I'm going to do with my extra rating time is to repair my economy a bit more. And this is actually some really good modifiers here. I mean, I say really good modifiers, which is making these ones less worse. That's all it is. But in the background, we can start to deal with the bandits. Removing the bad modifier and even better, giving us a little bit of arm experience, which is always appreciated. Let's do it. First operation, successful. But yeah, the rest I'm just going to do the background i think i don't need to show you every single time i click that decision so yeah we can do that focus over here now the only thing i'm kind of scared of is that we got 50 percent null align support not the ideology we actually want to become i hope that doesn't interfere with what i want to do as i said i've basically no idea what i'm doing over here this focus is over here i know because they're the industrial focuses they're always the same the political ones no idea so let's do the coin plan unlocking missions which must be completed within 100 days of completing this 
focus. Otherwise, we have a problem. The focus is done. Let's immediately go down this focus here. Estado Moderno. Yes, I butchered this. I'm sorry. Anyways, a different party takes over. Elections will not be held. And the state of emergency gets replaced by Estado Moderno. Very good. And yeah, here you see the cooldown for changing ideology. Otherwise, we have a problem. But after finishing this focus, this should disappear. Very good. Let's immediately go down the next focus. Giving us more core attack and core defense. And at the same time, making militias better? Can we build militias later? Interesting. Okay, let's do it. What I'm also going to do now is change to war economy and build some mills. So, we can't do this yet, but what we can do is send an ultimatum to Uruguay. Let's do it. And I didn't even notice that. We can recruit militias now. Okay, I want to save more political power, so I'm not going to do that. But if we surprisingly need an army real quick, this seems useful. Focus is done. Let's do this one next for more war support, less stability, but more recruitable population factor. Seems pretty nice. So let's do it. And they said no. Then we shall take it by force. Goodbye. I guess this is why we get the militias. <laughs> we just get them real quick. Oi, oi, oi. Didn't plan on that. Fun. And yep, they, they actually attack. <laughs> That's not good. That focus is done. Let's get that one next for some extra manpower. So Uruguay has fallen, giving me very needed equipment. And I guess a little bit of navy. That was stupid of me. I would say let's just play defensive against Argentina for now and uh, prepare our army a bit more because uh, this is not fun. <laughs> it's actually very hard so far. But apparently I can do rallies down here. I misclick. I wanted to get the militias, but uh, I guess it also works. So we can choose a leader for our government. We can either keep our current leader, giving him these stats over here, which I personally don't really like. I like political power. We will need political power in the future. But over here, we get more political power and less war support loss from losing units, basically. But just because of the huge political power modifier, I'm gonna go with this side. For DD Fatherland. I think there's a typo. <laughs> Let me just ping Paradox real quick. <laughs> So I would say, let's push a little bit. And because I'm in a good mood today, let's go Grand Battle Plan. Because I like it, okay? And with this now done, let's embrace corporatism. Giving us a nice output modifier and less consumer goods factory factor. Pretty good. And Italy sends me equipment. Actually, pretty useful. And oh my god, that's actually pretty good advice. I'm gonna get myself that. Makes a lot of the future military reforms really cheap. Let's go. That focus is done. Let's get the Department of Propaganda. Giving us... More more political power gain, stability, war support, and ideology drift defense. Very good. And ironically, after we fix our government, we will actually have so much political power. That is crazy. And would you look at that? First Argentine encirclement. Three troops be gone. But yeah, I wasn't prepared at all for this war. This is such not good. We got the department. So let's finally get our third, not fourth, sadly, research slot. Because I really need three. This is so bad. <laughs> we are behind on everything. But yeah, I do understand why they give you the militia now. Without them, this would have been very painful. Anyways, let's prepare a real offense and go in. My first target is a supply hub over here. But ironically, we really need a supply hub. Otherwise, this push will not work. And we got it. Let's hook it up to our supply chain. And for now, just hold. Oh, yeah, that was really fast. It's connected. Nice. We got the research slot. Let's do Brazil Integral. Removing our worst modifier and making us so much stronger by doing that. Let's go. By the way, look at our new leader. What the trade dictator. What a good guy. <laughs> Anyways, the focus over here is done. Let's do ethical internationalism. Giving us a nice attack bonus and more justification time. Oh my god, would I love this for the late game, but we can't because we have to go down here. Oh no. Well, conquest. I forgot. When you're starting to have too much fun and then remember you have to conquer the world <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, I'm stuck in Argentina. This is going to be fun. You know what? An army defense expert might not be a bad idea right now. <laughs> Let's get him. This focus is done, but we can't do this one yet because we don't have the manpower in the field yet. We're like halfway there. <laughs> it's so much more guns. So let's improve our economy. And let's start with some steel. So after finishing that focus over here, I also got myself some rubber. And now we can improve our economy even more. I did a lot of risky plays, but I very much turned the war into my favor. I cut Argentina in half, cleaned up the north, and now dealing with the south. But oh my god, this was such a hard back and forth. They nearly encircled me so 
so many times. Yeah, TLDR. This took way longer than I wanted it to. Always fun with a blind playthrough, but we should have everything else done very soon. And for some reason, they are keeping their capital city empty, and I just did that. Wow, Argentina. And we have won. This was so painful. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take it all and exit the peace conference. Very good. Just advice from me. Don't attack your grinder early. Argentina can interfere. I've heard. But let me turn my entire army into my quote-unquote good infantry division, which means we have enough men in the field now to go down this focus. What domination of the Americas. Huge attack and defense bonuses and on top of that, output bonuses. Very good. And while I was fighting, I was only doing these two focuses over here, basically giving me free saves and free mails, which is very useful for the time. By the way, in the background, all of this has started again. <laughs> they do be asking for a lot of docking rights. I keep them on red though. I want to get involved. Not yet. This focus is done, which means we can trigger the Guyana crisis. This event at the moment is a little bit backed out and Paradox does know that because basically we demand those territories over here. But once the capital of the Netherlands moves over here because they capitulated, they're not part of that list anymore. <laughs> it is so stupid. But we need to get down here. So let's do it. Focus is done. France says yes. Britain doesn't. Very sad. But we have other things to take care of. So let's go into Paraguay. Intervention in Paraguay is done, which weirdly enough, bypassed provoke Argentina. Very weird. So let's see what they will say. They say yes. Good. Paraguay just became our puppet. Then let's preemptively strike Chile. And trust me, this time our army is way better prepared. Because I turned our infantry into 30 with, with two artillery. They will have a good punch, unironically. And yes, they are fully supplied. The only deficit we have is because I'm building new units in the background. And a lot of them. Preemptive strike is complete. I'm gonna immediately go into securing the Amazon or Wogol against Bolivia. And without further ado, let's go into Chile. Looking very good. Next focus is done. We're not completely done with Chile yet. I mean, <laughs> they're about to capitulate. So in the meantime, let's do defense of the fatherland, giving us two mills and 100 political power. And let's take care of the rest in Chile. That was fast. Taking everything. Goodbye, Chile. And now Bolivia, welcome to Brazil. You don't even have enough troops to secure the entire border with me. So that's actually a fast war. And yeah, it's already over. Gave me a lot of guns though. Wow. Got like 12k. That was wild. What the? I don't have a gun problem anymore. That is good. Now let's prepare our next invasion. I do feel a little bit bombarded with decisions when I look at the map. <laughs> so much. Anyway, set focus is done. Let's do the Panama push for a lot of war goals and a good attack modifier. Might gonna build like a few more troops. The focus is done. Very good. But even more importantly, we can do America the Soul, allowing us to core every South American province we own. That is so good. Let's do it. And while this is going on, Peru, you're going to Brazil. The focus is done, and we are now America the Soul, allowing us to core a lot of land. And oh my god, we spam with decisions now. But this is exactly why I saved so much political power. So I can core everything at once. I even have more political power left. Yeah, and fighting in mountains without mountaineers is uh, not fun. I also don't really have an air force yet. I'm doing the research now, but uh, it will take a while. But while this is going on, let's get our fourth research slot. I really need that. So three days left, two, one. And yeah, we had a slight increase in industry. And ironically, we have like 62 mills and 64 civilian industry now. That is so good. So normally right now, I would go down infiltration because I like it more, but you told me assault is better. So I'm willing to try it out. Let's get mechanized offense. We got the research slot. And I would say in the background, I'm just going to improve my industry. Establish a new capital. We will get Brasilia. Very cool. And now that we also did land reform, Form. Let's do financial stimulation. Financial stimulation is done, giving us even more decisions on the map to basically turn neglected states into growing states, which makes it way more feasible to build in them. And with our economy modifier nearly being fixed, let's finally completely fix it. War production. 35 day focus. Very good. And Peru has fallen. Gotta say, Peru is always so painful to defeat. And more states to integrate. Very good. The economy is fixed. I would say in the background, I'm going to develop my nation a bit more than we go into these over here. As I said in my Chile video already, they're kind of cool, but very neglectable. Okay, this war could be dangerous because Ecuador can join the allies. So let's risk it and go in. Uh, yep, fun. And we are now at war with the allies. 
guys. This is uh, horrible. <laughs> this is actually so bad. But we had to do it sooner or later, so I don't really care. Ecuador did capitulate. And I did prepare an army over here. So that over here is cleaned up. Meaning we don't have to be scared of weird invasions. I also have like a huge coast guard. So yeah, we should be safe. Even though we had war with the entirety of the allies now. And the US will join any second now too. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But we should use the momentum we still have. And take out Venezuela. Otherwise, this is going to be way more painful than it needs to be. And maybe even prepare a small naval invasion. And unironically, we actually have quite a big navy. Uniting the entire America's navies makes you pretty good. Okay, Mr. Germany, man, goes now into the Soviet Union. So we're kind of on a timer now. They will not survive forever here. So my mission now will be to push up all the way to the USA. And after we control basically the entirety of America, we can easily take out the rest of the allies and invade the world from that. And the USA joined the allies. Very fitting for me attacking Venezuela, I guess. Anyways, let's finally build an air force. Plane number one. And I haven't researched pass yet. So no plane number two yet. Let's get that. And with for help of a naval invasion, Venezuela is gone. I haven't talked about it, but I love that Brazil has it. Let's get bicycle divisions. Let's go. They're not really good in jungle, but once we push north, they're gonna be so good. And we have the bombs now. So here we go, play number two. And yes, sadly, even though we capitulated Ecuador and Venezuela, we can't call them. Because for the decision, you have to own the province, which means you have to take it in a peace treaty and not just control it, what we are currently doing. Very sad. We got bicycle divisions. Now let's reform our army a little bit. I got myself a war goal, so let's go into Colombia. And I'm actually starting to have a small air force, so will help a lot. And look at that. First achievement. Rumble in the jungle. On all states as any South American nation. And right after that, Colombia capitulated. Very good. Let's continue to push north. Panama, goodbye. Panama is capitulated and we gained control over the Panama Canal. Glorious Brazil. True overlord of all of the americas going north and the war justification time right now is so good 10 days i love it why did el salvador join greater east asian conspiracy sphere why el salvador <laughs> this is so stupid so we can annex paraguay allowing us to integrate them very good <laughs> wait what i just know this i can integrate more than just paraguay right now yeah i think i found another bug so my guess here is that when you don't own the province, those decisions are still available, but they're hidden. But now that I own land, Paraguay, I can see the entirety of the decisions for integration. Interesting. So what this tells me is I should definitely integrate these last. <laughs> and we're just gonna go and integrate this over here first. I know this is a bug, but you know what? I'm doing a wall conquest, okay? And I'm also doing two videos this week. I've gotta use this. And unironically, I'm also not a big fan of having to own own these provinces instead of controlling them. So this is actually the way I would like it more. Oh my god. El Salvador strategically cut me off that I can't push north anymore. So I have to declare war on Japan now to capitulate the USA. But I don't care. Let's do it. So El Salvador, goodbye. Wait, I'm even more of the Dominican Republic now. This is so stupid. El Salvador is gone. So let's push into Mexico. Oh my god. My Air Force is actually doing an amazing job over here. This is really good. The last doctrine is done. My bicycle emissions are ready and if you're interested they look like this so without further ado let's push in the background we have caught the entirety of south america and also central america because you apparently can also call all of this over here so let's finally call paraguay at the same time i'm also building a huge railway connection all the way up to mexico so i don't need to supply via convoy anymore because i my convoys kind of get destroyed at the moment <laughs> like really fast i finished part of the poor for a good bonus and now let's do consolidate labor laws giving me stability construction speed and less consumer goods factory factor really good the other choice would just be factories but i have such a big industry now that two factories don't change a lot anymore the only things that would be nice right now is more resources but for that we go into the usa a little bit of a shopping trip to walmart man i'm really destroying the air force <laughs> they're losing so many planes right now they must be so outdated because this is wild and the defense starts to crumble mexico finally has capitulated usa you are next and i say this push looks so disgusting because uh, they're really holding out in the mountains of mexico but in the playlands my bicycle just pushed through oh this is so stupid i kind of love it and isn't that a nice encirclement goodbye 
units. Man, I can say I love bicycle evasions. Their speed is so good. It's not what San Francisco. Let's take that too. Very good. Yeah, I kind of feel the US will collapse very soon. The age of fun has begun. Let's build some reactors. I think this should be just enough. Goodbye, USA. Very good. 30k guns. Oh my god, I need that so much. I might have, might have dropped my garrison law a little bit. But you know what? This already looks very good. Sadly, we're not done yet. Canada also capitulated. Very nice. But I gotta say this feels so good to finally control this because for well, once I have all the resources I need to build the stuff I want to build. Finally. Very good news. I've been invited to the Axis, which should allow me to actually start a naval invasion for real. So the time has come to upgrade my Air Force. So jet number one and jet number two. And because I don't have the biggest Navy, let's get some nav. Welcome to Britain. Come over my divisions. <laughs> I have so many divisions over here already. But yeah, this should be this war very soon over. Very cool. Great Britain is dead. The peace treaty is over. But I got Britain over here. Sadly, Britain did survive over here. But that's a problem for later. For now, I want to take out Iberia to have a better staging ground against the Germans. And at the same time, take out Japan. After those two are out of the picture, this world conquest should be easy. Especially with most of the Americas already under my control. So let's go in. And I would say that's Iberia being taken care of. Naval landing is a go and japan has no units in japan i love it even i'm surprised right now because they literally have nothing here that's wild that's japan capitulated promise of way less wars go than i would love for and the peace treaty is done hey and achievement time i am home as brazil occupy every core of portugal <laughs> i kind of like the achievements they made they're fun but yeah i got all of iberia and on top of that japan is a puppet the only nations i'm currently at war with are the allies and i already won against them it's, it's very confusing yeah, and that's the allies. On question mark? Yeah, gone. Good. <laughs> I really didn't want to fight them again. Well, I can't take the Navy. Very sad. Anyways, allies gone. Finally. Now let's finally take care of Germany. And this time around, I don't care if Japan guarantees you because Japan doesn't exist anymore. Ha! Oh, I love being cringe. So, Vogel is ready. Let's go in. I have to say, the Germans have a lot of planes right now. Like a crazy amount of planes. But you know what? I have a solution for that. Goodbye, planes. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, I've had dominance now. That's wild. And Germany is not having a good time today. It's really not looking good. I feel like that's enough of the German Air Force gone that I can push. Let's go. I think we don't need to go around the Maginot Line. I have a solution. Is someone at war with China now? They declared war on me. Interesting. <laughs> and because you like to see losses, I lost 1.2 million. And Germany lost to me 3.2. What is going on here? Italy has the civil war. And they're fighting against not democratic Italy or non-aligned Italy. No, they're fighting against Norway. What is going on with this game? This is so stupid. Oh, no, they're not Norway anymore. That's some good news. But they're not involved with the other Italy. They just exist now. Small little encirclement. Goodbye. And another small little encirclement. Let's go. Oh, no, China joins the Axis. I have to capitulate China now to win against the Axis. Oh, I hate my life. And you know what? I don't care anymore. Let's just declare war on the Soviet Union. Then we have it over with. Germany is gone. And I'm so 100% gonna start a compliance government in the Soviet Union. Oh my god, just thinking about it. Let's do it. And at this point, I would have annexed the Axis. China wouldn't have joined. Fun. Goodbye, Switzerland. To join the common turn. I mean, they're already red, so it makes sense, right? Oh my god, that's the first time I'm happy to see this. Japan did it naval landing for me. Unironically good. Now what I'm gonna supplement that with a bicycle division. Good job, Japan. I am proud. Switzerland, goodbye. I don't know why, but this kind of looks pretty cool. I really like the color of this nation. I don't know. I never said that, but just random thought. I kind of really like it. And 45% collaboration in the Soviet Union. That was actually very lucky, but we still have to go so much deeper. And the Soviet Union has capitulated. I can say I officially hate the Germans because they were too incompetent pretend to take everything so the soviet union still exists but on top of that they released a random nation that is not even puppeted i have no words for this peace treaty i hate the ai <laughs> don't you love fighting the germans in china it's great it's so late in the game it is good to see that at least china is falling apart now because oh my god was it annoying to break through i think i dropped 300 nukes on china alone and i i'm not joking i am not joking oh my god i'm so happy right now so, I would say let's clean up the world and then we're done.
Soviet Union, goodbye. I love the feeling of invading the Himalayas with bicycles. Come on, give me your capital city. I don't want to nuke you, but I will. Good. Yeah, this is going to take a bit longer now. Let's just cut to the end. So, we're nearly done. There's only one nation left. And because it's two nations that we attack Brazil last, which we can do right now, I thought of a new nation that is green and doesn't have a focus tree yet. Ireland. Let's go. And jokes aside, more than one hour of time has passed since my last cut. And it took very long. And here we go. Peace treaty. And we got the achievement. Bad ending. The whole world is now Brazil. <laughs> That's actually funny. For last time, take everything and the Navy. So yeah, I did it. One of the first, or if not the first, world conquests as Brazil with the new DLC. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun until I didn't. But anyways, my patrons, I love you. Until next time, bye.